Afternoon. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Orlando Magic. This is Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Allie LaForce will be our reporter from the sideline. And the starting lineup for the Magic. The backcourt is Suggs and Caldwell Pope. Wagner and Van Caro, the talented forward pair. And it's Carter in at the center, locking down the middle. And for Cleveland, Mitchell on the wing with Struess. At the four and the five, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen. And it's Garland in at the one spot. Well, Grant, when you take a look at this matchup, both these teams feature an impressive backcourt. No question, B.A. And I get the sense that bragging rights are on the line here. Everything you can do, I can do better. Expect some exciting back-and-forth action in this one. Now here's Mobley. Garland finds Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Pulls up. High post. The rebound by Carter. you got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Here's Caldwell Pope. Down low. Here's Ben Carroll. Oh, Ben Carroll throws it down. And this is why you must push Ben Carroll out of the paint. Or else, he'll slam it all over you. RJ, the Cavs, breaking ground on a new practice facility set to open in 2027. Situated on the Cuyahoga River, it will be four times larger than the existing one. And let me tell you this, the existing one was state-of-the-art. And it continues to rejuvenate what we're seeing in downtown Cleveland. Shout out to the Cavaliers. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Starts against Garland. Pass to Ben Carroll. Here's Carter. Six on the shot clock. Back to Ben Carroll. Shoots over Mobley. And Paolo Ben Carroll again. Ben Carroll's got his second basket. Hard to blame the defense. I mean, Ben Carroll is just adept at scoring under pressure. Allen with a screen on Caldwell Pope. for the dunk, draws the foul too, and he'll go to the line. That's on Wendell Carter, and we know Donovan Mitchell is a superb scorer, but Grant, what do you think he's focused on at this point of his career? Well, B.A., it's all about championships for him. This is a guy that doesn't just want to be seen as an elite player. He really wants to compete for titles too. One shot. And Richard, thinking about Donovan Mitchell, he just has a total impact on the game. It's crazy to think that he's in the prime of his career, but every single year he continues to get better. I still think there are more levels for him to go. Now here's Caldwell Pope. And Paolo Bancaro again. Bancaro's got six. Oh, too big, too strong. It'll take more than that to stop Bancaro. Outside Mitchell. Mitchell with the slam. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Now here's Wagner. Carter, the pass to Suggs. 
Mitchell against Caldwell Pope. Pass to Ben Carroll. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. I'll say this. Ben Carroll is a guy that opponents can't forget about for a second. And you see it in all the defensive attention he gets. Teams show him all kinds of different looks, and he draws a bunch of double teams in isolation. throw drops for Ben Carroll. Well, after a decade of uncertainty, Magic fans now have a lot to cheer about. This is the most optimism they've had around the team since the Dwight Howard era. And it centers around their young star, Paolo Ben Carroll. He is going to be a force for a very long time. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Levert's checked in. Well, the recent success of the Cavs has centered around their defense, RJ. Well, if you want a chance to contend, you're going to have to be able to defend. Their coach embodies that, and so does their personnel, specifically their front court. A minute nine left now in the first quarter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. I was able to talk with Kenny Atkinson for a minute. He said watching tape in preparation for this game, Wendell Carter just kept showing up. Whether it was on the boards, being in the right position defensively, or even stretching the floor at the offensive end. Carter makes a lot of plays that help his team. Brian? Okay, thanks, Ali. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over for the Cavaliers. Wade, he's checked in for Allen. Niang comes in for Mobley. And Okoro is subbed in for Struess. Now here's Niang. Levert outside. Niang a screen. Inside. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Bancaro. Harris down low. He's checked by Levert. Bancaro. Levert with a rebound. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Here's Wade. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Magic. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Anthony. In transition, the Magic on the run. Two on the clock. And Ben Carroll with the lay-in. Ben Carroll's got nine points. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's the Magic. They're up by two. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And for Orlando, what jumps out to you guys, stat-wise? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses, and they are exploiting them. And the league is cut down on back-to-backs, but some pushback for a surprising reason. Richard, teams need multiple days off in order to practice. Yeah, that's right. With only one day off between games, teams don't usually practice on those off days. It's not as simple as it looks. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Magic starting the second. Anthony is out there with Gary Harris. Then there's Mo Wagner. Then it's Paolo Bancaro. And it's Isaac in at the four spot. Here's Mitchell following the bucket by the Magic. Levert outside. Niang outside. Pass to Mitchell. Just three to shoot. From deep three-point range. And it's Harris with the rebound. Orlando leading by four. Isaac outside. And he gets the bucket. Inside the paint, Isaac is a pro. Using his size to get himself a high percentage look. Mitchell against Anthony. From outside the arc, Wade. It's hauled in by Isaac. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often time. Now that's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. 
And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. And we've got a timeout called by Kenny Atkinson. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Struce comes in for Nia, and the Magic making a change here as well. Suggs is checked in. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. And they pick up two. Levert's got his first points in this one. <laughs> this is all you can do if you're the defense. Levert is excellent at cutting his way through physical coverage. Levert goes against Anthony. And he slams it in. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Doubled by Shrews. Out to Anthony. Suggs outside. Wagner with a screen. Now here's Suggs. Corner by Coro. Suggs with the bucket. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. The Cavaliers are having success. Point guard Darius Garland said, we're building something here and we've come a long way. It feels amazing having our own legacy. We're just trying to keep it going. The whole city is behind us. And Brian, they know there's still work to do. And they've got no problem with that, Allie. Thank you. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. From deep, Struess connects from downtown. Oh, nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. Orlando leading by seven. To the paint. Here's Harris. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Orlando shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. A different look for Cleveland. Mobley comes in for Okoro. And Garland is subbed in for Mitchell. Cleveland has possession. Trailing by 10. Garland scanning the floor. Struess finds Allen. 4-3. And there's Struess. That one's good. On the assist by Allen. Struess has got six here in the corner. And so it sucks. He brings it up for the Magic. 26 seconds left in the second period. And Caro outside. Five to shoot. Cavaliers with a rebound. And here's Garland. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Defensive good foul. execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Cleveland shooting their second free-throw attempt on the night.
so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Magic out in front, leading by four. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Paolo Bancaro with a strong contribution so far in this one. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside or did Coach have some new ideas for them? Struess at small forward with Mobley next to him. Garland and Mitchell, the talented one and two. And it's Allen in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Grant, you look at the development path of Franz Wagner. Not surprising he had an easier transition to the NBA. But think about this, B.A. I mean, he played against Ben very early in Germany. Splitting time in Euroball and at Michigan let him develop in multiple ways so he's seen it all and is still so young the Cavaliers trail by four outside Struess Allen against Carter Mobley deciding where to go with it down to five on the shot clock Allen a screen from deep Mitchell yes sir Mitchell from long range Hitting that shot helps loosen the driving lanes a little, and we know Mitchell only needs a crack of daylight. Wagner against Struess. Half to the outside. Fires for three. And another miss by Orlando. Cleveland has gone three of six from deep so far. Garland, the pass to Allen. Mobley outside. To the middle. And it's Allen who slams it home. And this is why you feed the big fella Allen on the inside. With his size, he is a major threat anywhere around that hoop. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Evan Mobley was the third overall pick in 2021. And his teammate Donovan Mitchell said about him, it's crazy, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but I don't think he really understands how good he can be. He can take us to a completely different level. I personally believe that he can be a top five player in this league. Brian, high praise for his teammates. Indeed it is. Oh, Good stuff, you. Allie. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Suggs against Garland. Outside Struess. Let's the three fly. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Struess has got nine points. Defensively, you have to put lots of focus on Garland, so that opens up things for others to get their shine. Ben Carroll outside. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Fast break, Cleveland. Outside Garland. Floats one. And he lays it up and in. Garland's gotten his second bucket. Oh, going inside and fighting for the bucket. That's what you want. You want a person that's going to fight for those inches. Anthony against Mitchell. Oh, and Mobley with the block. To the inside. And Carter with the block. And Carroll against Mobley. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Here's Mitchell. 
Anthony grabs the board. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Now here's Anthony. Wagner for three. Sinks it from oh, distance. Oh, a quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Anthony against Mitchell. Got it. Good job in the low post. Mitchell. He's got 10. Three quarters of play and a close one here. Cavaliers ahead, leading by three. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. A worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. That wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. It's the fourth. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. On the court for Orlando, Gary Harris out there with Anthony. Then it's Paolo Bancaro. Then there's Jonathan Isaac. And it's Wagner in at the center. And a deep three from Garland. Off target from three-point range. Magic trail by three. Isaac outside. Pass to Harris. Struess against Bancaro. Clock at six. Over Struess. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Allen's got rebound number five here tonight. And here's Struess. He's guarded by Anthony. Struess against Anthony. Struess's shot is off. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Oh, rejected by Allen. That reach from Allen, uh, let's just say it's tremendous. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Seven Mobley, he's checked in for Cleveland. And a new group getting ready for Orlando. Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. Franz Wagner comes in for Isaac. Caldwell Pope's checked in for Harris. And it's Jalen Suggs in for Anthony. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Hi, guys. Well, Jamal Mosley was just reviewing the plan with his team. He emphasized staying sharp the rest of the way, saying turnovers will kill us. We can close this gap if we take care of the ball. Don't try and overdo it. Let's send it back to you guys, Brian. And Ali, thank you for that. For a young player, Van Carroll has tremendous footwork in the post. He stays in balance and puts defenders in awkward spots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And the playmaking skills Bancaro has already are outstanding. Just such a unique young player. Both shots good from the strike. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Outside Mitchell. Back to Garland. Let's go with a three. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Carter. Mitchell up top. Pulls it. Yes. And a nice assist from Garland. And the Cavaliers lead by three. Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. Carter, a screen on Garland. Outside Carter. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Carter. And a 
and slammed in by Carter. You love the show of force from Carter Jr. He's not messing around when he gets the ball down there. Two minutes in the game. Caldwell Pope against Mitchell. Puts up a three. Nails it from three. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Magic trail by four. Pass to Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll uses his size down there. Oh, no holding back from Ben Carroll. He wants this team to be able to rely on him in these type of moments. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. When you need one bad, go to a high percentage shooter, and Allen is that guy. Pass to Ben Carroll. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Finds it again. Six for 12 and remaining assertive. Here's Mitchell. Right now, this is what you want to see. Mitchell playing without hesitation and just taking quality shots. Doubled by Shrews. Kicks it out to Wagner. Suggs outside. And Carroll with a screen on Garland. Six to shoot. Here's Suggs. And he sinks it. And he's brought them within two points now. And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Count it! Big Jared Allen outshining the bright lights. And so Jamal Mosley calls for the timeout. And Coach didn't want to take any chances in this situation, which is why he called the T.O. And now, please welcome to the court, the powerhouse team. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Suggs, the pass to Ben Carroll. Over Mobley. Ben Carroll, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And stolen by Suggs. Good anticipation defensively. See the pass coming and manage it to snatch it. Run it. Putting this team on his back. I love seeing Suggs take charge like this. Now here's Garland. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Tipped. And it's good. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Orlando calls timeout. 
15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Any speculation on what we're going to see coming out of this timeout? No doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. Yeah, it has to be fast. They've got to take the first good look they get. Take the goal! Fifteen seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Caldwell Pope, the pass to Carter. Off target from outside. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the top. Gets the first, and that puts him up five. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a six-point ball game. Cool, calm, and collected. Say that three times fast. He makes them all and puts this game away. Can't connect. And so the Cavaliers take the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Get happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Richard Jefferson, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. And as we leave you, here's a look at our player of the game, Donovan Mitchell.